all right guys so in this video we're going to be going over run service now what uh specifically for run service we're going to be going over is render stepped and uh heartbeat so i have a local script here we're first going to go over render stepped so this is a local script render stepped only runs on the client so only on our local script now for this example we're going to do a little camera shake it's not a, not going to be a complete camera shake tutorial because uh i i suck at math so whether or not you put it in starter character scripts or starter player scripts is going to be dependent on kind of the situation for starter character scripts it would be situations like anything visual first the character specifically the player specifically for starter player scripts it would be maybe world world visuals or or uh yeah visuals that are going to be fired to all the clients <clears throat> let's go ahead and get our run service All right, so I have a local function render stepped here. We're using our render stepped event, connecting it to our render stepped function. Now what gets passed here is something called delta time. Let's go over that real quick. Delta time is different between heartbeat and render stepped right heartbeat gets delta time as well but it's just a little bit different so for render stepped it's the time that has passed since the last frame was rendered however render stepped runs right before every frame is rendered for heartbeat it is the time passed since the last heartbeat and the last heartbeat runs by default every 1 60th of a second now it can depend on performance it may vary just a slight amount we're not going to be using delta step for render step though we'll use it um when we go over and talk about heartbeat more we're going to do a little a little camera shaker for this render stepped. I think I can just do script.parent since we're since we're uh, since we have it in starter character scripts actually. So we'll do uh, We're going to create a little C frame or no camera camera vector three. All right. And we're just going to do math at random minus one, one. And we're just going to do this all the way, all the way for X, Y, and Z. We'll do camera dot C frame equals camera dot C frame times C frame dot new camera vector three. All right, and now avert your eyes if you need to. But we're, we should get a little camera shake action going on here. As you can see, we have a little camera shake action going on. 
Now, um, I think I said this, but you probably don't want to use this as your camera shake script. Um, I didn't want to get too far into that. It's also a lot of math. All right. So that's pretty much render step. <laughs> Uh, now let's go over heartbeat. Heart beaded. We're just doing a local function of heart beaded. And we get delta time as well. But like I said, the difference between there is a difference between heartbeats delta time and render steps delta time. So for heartbeat, this is a server script. Heartbeat can run on server and client. What would you use heartbeat for? Heartbeat you would want to use for something that is going to give you an accurate uh, I guess uh, so like for a game loop as as an example and you don't want it to be dependent on the the frame frames of a, a player so like a game loop now w with delta time we can do something called time slicing so i'm gonna show you that real quick So we'll have a time time elapsed variable, and then we'll have a uh, seconds past variable. So the first thing we're gonna do is time. We're gonna have time elapsed plus equals delta time. Now we're gonna say if time elapsed is greater than or equal to one, then seconds passed plus equals one, time elapsed equals zero. So what this is, is this is kind of like a debounce. And that's pretty much what we can use um, time slicing for. Time slicing is basically just a debounce. Um, if we want to do something like keep track of time or, or uh, you know, whatever. If we want things to run at specific times, we can use um, time slicing like this. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to print. And we're just going to turn this off too, because that is, that's a lot. Um, so let's print our uh, print seconds past. And as you can see, we have one, four, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. As you can see, so it's it's fairly, fairly accurate, fairly reliable. And so, yeah, that's what we would use. Um, Carpy four is a uh, thing. Things like a game loop. Uh, if you need to keep track of certain time and you want to run um, functions, so like if it's like weather or whatever, I don't know, just whatever you can think of. <laughs> and then render stepped would be client. So I I personally don't use these much i haven't needed to um but yeah hope that made sense and i'm and i'm gonna make the uh i'm gonna make the um http video i'm gonna make that i just want it to be good so there's a couple things i'm gonna go over but yeah